should women change their surnames after marriage or not men so should men okay so yes raman ma'am what's your opinion on that okay. uh, good evening honorable educator and good evening to all of you present here uh, i am raman deep kaur i am a student of american institute bhopal today i speak on the topic uh, a man should get changed his surname after her after his marriage and uh, the meaning of surname is a name which a person give his family members and it continuously used by his generation to, and by his next generations and today i back to differ with the topic because nowadays uh, nowadays women are already face of many problems which uh, um, which women are born to which women born to change her surname after marriage and it take a lot of legal process when a person born to change his surname and men can also face the same problems so it is just a time based problem and it depend on a person Uh, and the surname doesn't uh, surname is not necessary nowadays because in ancient times surnames are used by the people who want to show his cl- upper class and uh, some religion and uh, nowadays uh, everyone is educated and he and they are no they are no we, all humans are equal all religions are equal so uh, surname doesn't And so, so surname is not necessary nowadays. Like in Punjab, my granny, my mother, and I also don't use my my surname in the legal documents. We use only our surname, which are given, which are gave my my elders and my parents. And I can use my surname in in a formal ways, like in social accounts and name plates of my house. But in legal documents, we don't use our surname, so surname is not necessary nowadays. And like the most famous personalities like Dalji, Dasanj, Mika Singh, Sukhvinder Singh, Sukhi, Hardik Kaur, Lady Gaga, Govinda, Rekha, they are don't use their surnames, but they build their personality as their hard work on their hard work. So if they can. If they skip their surname to use, so everyone can skip it. And and from my point of view, if a man can, if a man want to change his his surname, he can face the same problem as I already mentioned earlier. So from my point of view, surname is not necessary nowadays. It depends on the person's choice. If he want to. Um, if he want to use a surname, uh, if he want his uh, use surname in the documents, he can. But he can face uh, many problems on uh, when he and uh, when he want to change, like when he want his uh, surname change, like in passport, in pan card, in Aadhar card, and other documents. So they can face a lot of problems. So from my point of view, surname is not necessary, and uh, men shouldn't uh, uh, shouldn't. and get changes surname after marriage thank you okay okay quite great so aarti ma'am what's your opinion on this topic sir could you please give me 5 minutes i reach just now okay okay no problem no problem no yes yogita ma'am what you sir, i just join <laughs> नेसेसरीली so in my opinion changing a surname is not necessary because in a relationship what matters more a name a surname or mutual respect so many women change her surname because for the sake of the tradition and uh, elders are changing 
and many women are changing the, their surname. So uh, nowadays also women change her surname. Second question is if boys keep the surname, what changes can we expect in society? Will it change anything? So if boy takes the woman's uh, surname, it uh, uh, it challenge it could challenge the uh, traditional power dynamic in society because uh, and it can help to um it promote the gender equality and it help the it help to promote the mutual respect to each other. Third question is is a surname that important? So in my opinion, uh, changing a surname is not so important because it cannot define our success or our identity and our real worth. Surname is a um, it complete uh, completely depends on the individual behavior or the character. And next question is if the surname giving any extra benefits or we just doing it because our elders did the same. So we are doing because our elders doing it. It it completely depends on the person. If the person want to change the surname, then it can because by changing the surname it. Uh, there is a lot of legal work which uh, which has done by a woman and uh, it can create more problem to identify the uh, to identify her identity by changing the surname thank you okay so it was quite great to hear that okay so just want to give an general opinion that like ma'am answered the questions which i gave so you can do exactly like that just open the questions and start answering and I like just repeat the question. As you can see, I'm giving an example. So, uh, you want to choose the topic, then start by. So, there are many questions that arises in this particular topic. Question number one is changing your surname so necessary? But, Joby, whatever the next question is, question number two, question number three, just go on and answering them. So, it is also a very good way which you can use you know, to answer or to create your opinion. Like this, also, you can say. Okay, so let's move on to Aarti, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Good evening, everyone. My name is Aarti, and I am the student of American Institute of Hopal. And today, I am here to discuss upon the topic: uh, sh men should also get uh, get to change their uh, name, uh, their name after a marriage. So, uh, before begin with the topic, let us understand just a second. So before before begin with the topic, let us understand the meaning of uh, uh, surname. The uh, the meaning of uh, last name. Last name is also known as surname. Here uh, and it is originated. Ancestors and surname is a uh, surname is important uh, for like uh, uh, to uh, to uh, it it makes uh, easy for the uh, uh, for uh, some uh, uh, some it make easy for easy for some uh, for uh, for some office uh, records like uh, census and uh, and and it also make for taxation and property ownership uh, ownership and uh, surname is also uh, helpful in branding purpose like uh, like ambani's and tatas they are carrying their surname so and uh, sir uh, so um, but my question is uh, uh, why uh, women take their surname after marriage because uh, women take their uh, uh, surname after marriage because it has uh, so many reasons like uh, uh, in our country we have a societies like uh, we have a societies of patriarchal where men are dominant men and male persons are dominating where means that uh, women uh, women are considered as a uh, as a part of how husband's household proper household or property so uh, and we and women take the carry forward their surnames because carrying forward their surnames because uh, to uh, to take a uh, right in their property and also uh, uh, it, it it makes easy or ensure the children born into the into uh, that marriage uh, that marriage carries some some surname uh, carrying some same surname after the uh, surname which uh, which is helpful for having uh, property so um, and in in 
but uh, but uh, in our country we have uh, metri uh, we have metri metrimedian uh, community but, uh, like in uh, in our country states uh, states like uh, kerala kerala have nayas nayas community and uh, khases khases have uh, in, in meghalaya have, uh, so these are the community which are uh, metrilinear in these community children are carrying their mother's surname but still they are but it is also seen that they st still their husbands are not carrying their uh, wife's surname so in my opinion uh, i think we should not force anyone to take their uh, to take their surname because nowadays women are also not the, uh, take uh, right, yeah. right, yeah. oh sorry my mic is on okay okay so nowadays women are also not taking uh, taking forward their surname because of uh, they think uh, equality so uh, why men take their surnames and women uh, women taking their surnames like uh, because they are getting uh, benefits like or uh, in one question is uh, come in my mind is that do uh, men also getting share from their uh, from their in laws property so uh, and do men also uh, leave their house after marriage and live uh, and stay with their in laws if these things are not happen so why we force uh, men to take their surnames after uh, a man to take their wife's surname after marriage and uh, in my opinion uh, we should uh, in my opinion husband uh, both couples have their own perspectives if they want to change their surname they can or if they don't want to change their surname they uh, they cannot so thank you kya yeah, great ma'am great okay yes uh, yogita ma'am uh good evening sir good evening ma'am uh, good evening sir today's topic i uh, is it necessary to change uh, last names so uh, here are the some some points which is mentioned what difference does it makes by changing your surname is it uh, necessary a uh, think about how changing your name might affect your life how other see you is it something important or just a choice and if why keep the surname to what changes can expect in the society will it change anything uh, consider it keeping last name uh, the same in families changes anything in how we see men and women or if, if it is it doesn't matter and the th third question is, is surname that important ask yourself if having a last name really matters in your life or it's just a small detail and is surname giving you extra benefit or we just doing it because our elder did the same in simple uh, in simple way it is a uh, uh, their real advantage to having a small name or we just continue as our old traditional and it's depend on one to one choice and think about whether uh, if we can also think whether it is changing our surname makes how we can see and how other can see we have every time we have to think about ourselves not others and consider if people opinion or expectation of your would change with a different last name and if that matters to you or not in keeping your family's last name important because it connect you to your heritage or honors your uh, ancestors and consider if you could start a new tradition like combining um, com combine combine the last names or creating a new one that feels meaningful for you and your partner and is it more important to follow what your family or culture has always done to make choice that feels right for your personally Uh, so consider it changing or keeping your last name impact uh, any legal financial or social aspect of your life like uh, paperwork or family and recognition we have to consider all these points and think for uh, think about that and then only we can decide ki whether we should go for a changing surname or not or we uh, or we keep our surname uh, 
our first surname or we can come or we combine the surname or we can change the surname we have to think all these points and then we have to decide what should we do sorry i have uh, i think i have my camera is off sorry no problem no problem even i am facing a lot of problem today in setting my camera because i don't have laptop i have phone the, from last 10 minutes i am trying it fell off so in between yeah i am not able to understand how to put the phone uh, yes ma'am you can speak so i am done but ma'am why do i think that you were reading something so i have make my points and matlab i have in, in between i was of course i was saying because uh, this i feel today i feel this topic is difficult so better i i thought i should write some points i should brief it and then say okay okay no problem no problem yes renu ma'am Good evening, sir, and good evening, all of you, sir. Yes, sir. Today's topic is: What difference does it make by changing your surname? Is it a necessity, sir? I think <clears throat> it is not. Uh, it's not necessary because surname is a uh, sir only identity that uh, shows our caste system. Um, we can uh, not find this according our talent, our knowledge. Uh, etc so it's a symbol of it's a only symbol of a caste system uh, <clears throat> uh surname is uh, surname is not an important thing of our life uh, it it's used only documentation um, in ancient period um, surname uh, uh, surname shows uh, what uh, person uh, Prefer job, and it is the identity of uh, uh, ah, ma'am. Yes, sir. Sir, continue. sir uh, surname was uh, indicate the business or job in ancient time, and in this period, um. Uh, criteria uh, of jobs are uh, changed and it is uh, it depends it depends only our knowledge our talent and uh, it's no need to use our surname and uh, <clears throat> in any legal process we need surname either either uh, no need of surname is important sir <clears throat> Mm. Mm. Sir, in uh, some communities uh, where uh, where uh, male dominated society is uh, having, uh, there is uh, there is male uh, surname is uh, used by. Uh, their uh, uh, sorry sir are no problem ma'am there is no need to say sorry thank you i should say na bhai you have paid the fees bye <laughs> <laughs> uh, say sorry thank you uh -huh. yes yes go on ma'am okay so somebody wants to add their opinion to the topic yes yogita ma'am uh, sir uh... In conclusion, whether to choose to keep a surname is a personal decision, influenced by tradition, identity, and social norms. But last name can uh, give family heritage and cultural cultural rights. This important varies from person to person. Ultimately, what matters most is making a choice that aligns with your values and beliefs. Uh, whether uh, whether the means following traditional creating a new cosmos or priorities, equality and partnership. It is about what feels meaningful and empowering for you and those involved. So it uh, it is the choice of your, both the partners. If they are ready, 
they they can dis uh, take the decisions. Okay, if the girl is ready, but the boy is not ready, then if the girl is ready and the boy is not ready, that is their mutual understanding. We can I cannot say in that. And uh, every uh, every uh, person have right to take their decision. If boy is not ready, then girl can take a decision ki whether she should go with his surname or she can keep his her surname previously her surname. Like it's depend on her. It's depend on her choice, what she wants. Okay, I can see. As you have taken my point very seriously, that you have to be Narendra Modi, so I can see that. <laughs> it is great, right? It is great. I. It is very good. Now we are going on the right way. It is good. Okay. Uh, sir, can I ask you one question? Yes, ma'am. Can I speak now? Well. Yes, definitely, ma'am. Ah, sure. There is no doubt. Okay. I ma'am and Yogita ma'am and Deepika ma'am and Renu ma'am also I would say that everyone is able to speak therefore you are in this batch you know? yes Bachai con. <laughs> so that's why I am asking a genuine uh, opinion genuine opinion so that I can improve or I can read I start reading newspaper also to improve my language and I start talking to my daughter also so that uh, I can I'm actually saying, I'm not saying it because you have paid me thousand, therefore I'm not saying. I'm saying actually my or oh, that uh, English is very good. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes, ma'am. And my, my phone is calling a lot today, so please sort of manage my it is calling again and again. Hmm. It so over here. Okay. I can see one new participant over here. Okay. Zara, I can see. Yes, Zara, ma'am. Good evening, sir. Good evening, ma'am. Are you new? Uh, new yes, student? sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Okay, ma'am. Can you give your introduction over here? Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Zara. And I'm a homemaker. I have a two kids. And I want to uh, learn how to speak in English. That's why I joined this course. Okay, ma'am. Do you know about today's topic? No. Okay. So today's topic is should men change their surname after marriage or not? What do you think, ma'am? Uh, pardon? Should men change their surname after marriage or not? I don't think so. They need to change their surname. Why they should change their surname? Okay. Can you uh, list some reasons? Why do you think so? Because we are seeing from our childhood never, I don't think so, any man change their surname. Normally change surname uh, woman's, woman. Okay. Because so it's why, our culture. Why women change? Okay, because of culture. So do you think it is right? Because uh, I don't think so. Women should be changed. It's uh, it should be uh, uh, freedom. I mean to say, uh, my English is poor. Sorry for that. But uh, my thinking is uh, so, uh, um, if suppose my daughter will marry tomorrow, she should be uh, freedom uh, whether she want change her surname or not. It shouldn't forcefully. Okay. Ma'am, firstly, I would say that your English is not bad. If it would have been, so the class would have not been here. And in very okay. short, you are in this meeting, it means you are already good at English. Thank you, sir. So no, don't take everyone over here is learning. Even I'm learning. So there is no issue in that. Okay. So as you told about freedom. So then yes. who should change? But how can we just eliminate it? Because in we see, uh, like women were discriminated earlier, so we gave powers to women. But now, even in some places, men are facing dis discrimination. So it, we are again creating discrimination. No, how will it end at the very bottom level? How will it end? We are providing powers to women, but after sometimes the same situations, the men have to face, and again we will give power to men, and again women have to face. So what is the one-stop solution for it? It can be changed from home. Like I have a one son and I have a daughter. 
if i raise them equally it's depend on upbringing if i give them upbringing same my son will be not uh, tell her uh, wife you should change this and that it's uh, i mean to say it's all uh, uh depends on mothers and fathers uh, how they uh, up, uh i mean to say wo kaise unko upbringing karte hain i'm ye cha rahi hu main okay the way it will change in another 20 years it will take we can change uh, i mean to say you can change in future youth can change okay so ma'am i see you have a lot of opinion so it will be quite good to debate i think so okay sir thank you Yogita ma'am is also here. Arti ma'am is also here. Raman ma'am, Devika ma'am, everyone over here was just waiting for an opponent like you. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so let's end the debate session. If somebody wants to add their opinion, so please add because we are going to have some other activities also.